Brace yourself to see China's super advanced technologies taking action in the country. Hi, good day to everyone. This is Arthur and I'm back again to give you another wonderful video. So before we start, be sure to subscribe and push the bell icon so that you will not miss any of our upcoming videos. China's technology sector has grown so rapidly in the last two decades that it is pushing the United States out of its long-held position at the top of a digital food chain. China became a top scientific and industrial power in more advanced fields such as supercomputing, artificial intelligence, bullet trains, 5G technology, aeronautics, nuclear physics researches, and other fields. So today, in this video, I am going to show you some super advanced technologies that are becoming part of China's advancement. And so, without further delay, let us take you to our number one. Number 1 is 5G plus 8K technology to sports match broadcasting. China used 5G plus 8K technology to broadcast the Beijing rounds of the FIBA Basketball World Cup, marking the first demonstrative application of the technology at a major international competition. According to the Beijing Municipal Science and Technology Commission, 5G plus 8K technology is being used to broadcast 8 tournament games. Number 2 is the bendable screen thinner than human hair. A Shenzhen-based company has developed a bendable, transparent display with a 0.01mm thick screen, less than a fifth of the diameter of a human hair. It is also features flexible sensors. The technology can be used to make portable keyboards, lamp regulating switches, and auto central control desks. Number 3 is the driverless 5G remote controlled car. The 5G remote controlled car drove across the straight road, crossings, bridges, both wide and narrow road and so forth for around 4 kilometers on an open road. According to the reports, the 6th World Internet Conference was held in Wujen. The 5G network is said to be so fast that in a town local users are able to download a movie in only one second. Number 4 is 10 years of Beijing Tianjin High Speed Railway. China's first 350 kph high-speed rail line turns 10 years old. Xu Ying is the conductor of the first Beijing-Tianjin bullet train. The train reduces travel time between Beijing and Tianjin to about half an hour. In 2017, Xu began to work as deputy director of the passenger service section, 
She has witnessed every change that has occurred to this line over the past decade. Now, the Beijing Tianjin intercity trains have become a common means of transport. Number 5 is the bendable screens for smartphones. China's leading screen maker BOE Technology announced its latest display screen production line, the bendable AMO LED screens breaking Samsung's monopoly in the area. BOE from Beijing, China shows their flexible OLED plastic displays which will be used for the foldable and flexible bezel-less smartphones of the future. Number 6 is China's super heavy crane that shocked the world. XCMG truck crane from China is the one of the best performance truck cranes. Cranes of the XCMG are very popular in the world. The innovative jib system adopts embedded block, plug-in boom head, and international advanced use section jib, which has excellent lifting performance and safe and reliable lifting work. Number 7 is Chinese Icebreaker Sails into Southern Hemisphere. China's first domestically made polar icebreaker, Xuelong Tzu, has reportedly crossed the equator 10 days after setting sail from Shenzhen's other nation's 36th Antarctic expedition. After meeting China's first icebreaker, the Shrelong, the two snow dragons will embark on separate missions to the resource-rich continent for what has been described as the country's most ambitious polar expedition. Number 8 is Drone Market in China is Booming The global drone market could be worth $127 billion by 2020, up from just $2 billion today. China's drone market is likely to grow annually by 40% to have an output value of 9.13 billion dollars by 2020 and the government is supporting the industry number nine is high-end exhibits to promote china's consumption upgrading Many exhibitors are taking the opportunity of the second China International Import Expo to show their high-end products, which will go into the Chinese market and help promote China's consumption upgrading.
Number 10 is how AI is helping doctors in China. Medical robots have been developing to better help hospital treat patients in a Chinese market. We look at how artificial intelligence in medicine is changing Chinese hospitals. And so that's all there is to it for today. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and share this with others. Once again, this is Arthur. Thanks for watching and see you on our next video.